The general duty to not to disclose confidential information should be explicitly stated within the agreement. Normally it will be found in, in the obligation section of the agreement. It may also be buried in, in certain other places, for example, in the obligations relating to confidentiality. Language may read, the confidential information shall be kept in strict confidence and shall not be used for any purpose whatsoever other than that purpose. That purpose that was specified in the purpose for disclosure. This is akin to a general duty not to disclose. And we've provided several examples of this obligation, both in this section as well as in a subcategory called use of information is limited to purpose. You can see in this first example the counterparty agrees that it will use all the transmitted information only for the purpose of providing, and again, it's that purpose. The counterparty will ensure that its employees will only use the confidential information for the purpose of this agreement. So this is a very tight restriction. It's usually a blanket restriction that the recipient of the confidential information will use their best efforts to preserve and protect the confidential information in the same manner that you would preserve your own personal information. There is some overlap with this clause and our discussion on the purpose as well as our discussion on the handling of confidential information and safeguarding requirements. The most important point to take away is that a general duty not to disclose confidential information should be included within the agreement.